Well, let's talk about that motivation, that aggression. We're going to watch your film now. And <laughs> this is the first play of 2019. So you've played as a true freshman in 2018. You got hurt. You came back, obviously started. First play of the season against Auburn, SEC opponent. You're trying to go out there and start something fast. It's the first play of the game. It's a screen. I, did you script this play with this? You knew this was the first play up already? So the first play was actually something else. I think it was going to be a play action or something. And then I was like, ah, I was kind of bummed about that. But then literally, as we're walking like out the tunnel and the board was right there, Coach Mirabal comes up. He's like, man, screw that. Come here, come here, come here. And then he, he just wrote, this is the play. And it was sniper left. And uh, Sniper, OK. You know, so it was just me going out and really, I uh, guess, yeah, sniping the sniping a little here, dude. So here you are. You got him. First play of the game, got yourself a pancake. I mean, nothing better. And there's multiple pancakes at the play. You're, you're, you're left guard goblin, too. So, what, so you're in your stance here. Part of the reason why this play happens is your ability to get out of your stance and get past this defensive end. What are you thinking for as far as your technique? You 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 do swim them here, but you know were, were you worried about how you're able to get through that? Because it, this is if you if you get held up a tiny bit, right? You don't make this play. No. Uh, just like you say, yeah. If I get caught in any type of traffic, uh, the play is blown up. Uh, so knowing kind of one and watching film on him all week. Uh, just so my technique is, is a kick one time, show, and then just a release underneath. And just like right here, he kind of almost grabbed me a little bit. Yeah. So it was kind of natural for me to kind of, I guess, <laughs> use the swim move. But yeah, just whatever, whatever it takes to get out uh, and get out on that block, you have to do. So uh, I tried to do that right there and uh, finish the play. And you were talking about running over people. Here we go. So here's a better angle of it. You can kind of see right here. So you set one, two, you swim. He does try to grab you, you swim him. And then you get out here. What are you thinking about right, about right there? There's six is you're lining number so, six up. So yeah, right here, I'm like, all right, run through him. But then as it kind of went on, right there, you see how <laughs> I use my left leg to plant. I was like, do not miss. <laughs> <laughs> so so my mind throughout the whole thing, the whole thing until that one step, I was like, yeah, I'm running through this dude easy. And then I was like, the second thought was like, don't miss, and I didn't miss. So it's much more of this Auburn game because there's a lot of fun in this game. And again, this is, did you feel yourself? get up for different opponents because you know in a Pac-12 schedule you're not maybe playing as many teams with like pro level players yeah did you feel do you, do you get up more for a game against Auburn yeah most, I, yeah I definitely felt that and also well, I was pretty young at the time so going up against an opponent like yeah. this with all the hype around I was definitely up more against these guys than let's say like Oregon State yeah. or Stanford so here's a, another screen here. So you get out, you don't get out easier because the guy doesn't come to you. But I want to talk about your processing here. So you're looking, you're looking inside back to out. When you decide to go to the next level, because this is pretty impressive here to be able to stop. Okay, I can't block that guy. I'm gonna go attack the second level, the third level, really. Yep. So I knew that the safety was my guy counting for the number three from the from the corner to the right. yeah one two three. Yep. So. Uh, I knew he was that far. He was like, he was pretty deep. So I stopped to check if there's any inside threat or if anybody coming yeah. to hit hit uh, red faster. I checked, didn't see nobody, and went right up and then hit him <laughs> and hit 20 in the mouth. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, it's like you can't, you're not supposed to be able to stop and start like this. Let's watch it from another angle. Uh, here so we like, go. yeah, I was really looking for 33, but he kind of shifted in too far. And then, yeah, I checked that and then went, turned and then get off field. Did you have to learn how to hit someone in this explosive way? Because you know, it, 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 a lot of this comes down to technique. You have to hit with the same foot and same shoulder. You see that you can see the hip explosion here as well. Do you have to learn how to finish guys like this? Uh, I think it's, it goes back to being on an island. So when I was on an island, I was a pretty young dude. I was probably like 10 years old, and I was going against 14, 13 year olds that were like pretty, like pretty big, like twice my size, maybe even three times my size, and so kind of getting blown up. <laughs> like that first kind of you're just learning like how they hit you and uh, you don't want to be on the other end of that so kind of growing up and having that I guess that childhood of playing on the island helped me learn how to hit like that so you talk about aggression we've seen two screen plays now that have been great same game Auburn game first drive of the game you're down at the inch line right I mean the, the ball's probably on the, on the on the goal line right here I think this is fourth down as well right fourth down you guys are trying to get the ball in the end zone you talk about aggression here look at 58 so you check it's a zone That's play. Not, yeah, no, this is not even my guy. So the, the funny part is 27, Jake Breland, he got number four outside. Okay. Me and Throck is supposed to triple to 20. Yeah. And so, yeah, I'm supposed to go straight to 20, but I, I don't know. I had this feeling that he was coming <laughs> real fast. Like he was just coming too fast for my liking. So I just hit the brakes 
and I, I was like gonna <laughs> chip him. I didn't think I hit him like this, but I was just gonna Boom. chip him and come back out to 20. But then, yeah, it was just so we scored. So did you get? So does, does Coach Webber give you a missed assignment here, like a pancake and a missed assignment? Uh, I don't think he did, but <laughs> I hope not because uh, I kind of made a hole for the team. But yeah, because you're right here. I mean, Shane would have had a tough time blocking this guy. Yeah, no, he was coming downhill fast, and Shane uh, guy was not in the best because so he was trying to get off. To so something. you blasted a guy that you weren't even supposed to hit. Is what you're telling me? Yeah. So my eyes, you can see my eyes. My eyes are tracking for 20 right here. Boom. And then I see him shooting the gap, and it just turns to him, and I just yeah. What do you do with your What do you do with your inside hand here? Yeah, so that inside hand was just for any help and any help for that, say, that D tackle comes yeah. out towards me. So that's help for Shane. But then I guess it was help for more, help my eyes turn back quick when, enough too. When, when you're when you're double teaming here with Rock with, with, with 54, yeah. what, what's your key to know when he has the guy secured? Because obviously if he comes right now inside, you have to help him. Yeah. But when do you know, like, okay, let's go back a tiny bit. When do you know, when, when, what's your key telling you, like, okay, He's got him, I can go to the second level now. So you, you can see number three's hip kind of in the screen right there. Yeah. Uh, as soon as I see it go away any type right there, yeah. that's my indicator to go and field in that block. is just going to big boy him out. And, and then 24 shove you afterwards? Oh, no, you got no, rolled over. No, I got rolled over because I was trying to come back to 20, and I got rolled over from the backside linebacker. This is like boom, and then, uh, yeah. 33, I had no idea what was happening. <laughs> this is one of those times where I think the coach will, will not give you MA because it works out well. Because 20 is, 20 is in man-to-man -man coverage right now. He's not even looking at you. No. Yeah. So that was good. And yeah, just knowing that pressure from 33 and the speed that he was coming at, I had to come he back. Was, he was coming. He was coming and, hard. And the goal line, too. So it's everything one, happens yeah. that, it does that happen fast. That, it does happen that fast. Let's watch another run block from this game here. OK. Let's talk about this. So this is outside zone here. And you know that as a tackle, this is a tough block because the defensive end could come inside, right? That's what you kind of don't want. So how do you tell yourself to play with confidence in trying to get this guy to reach out with you? So just kind of watching film throughout the whole week uh, and knowing that the DNs really want to stay and contain the whole time. Like that's the number one thing for them. They did not want to lose contain. So in this play, especially, I wanted to threat that. I wanted to think that I'm coming for that edge. And so I, my first step was pretty wide yep. and that you see it makes him turn. So the moment he turns, I'm grabbing that near shoulder he gives me right there, boom. And now I'm using my inside hand against his momentum yeah. and just using that uh, inside hand just to uh, drag him out. I think to, to me, the, the impressive part is the sell out to go get him because you can see here the left guard is not, you're not, you have no help inside, no. right? So you're on an island and you know that if this guy goes right now inside, you're screwed. The ball's not even yeah. handed off yet. So the confidence to watch on film, hey, if I whine a little bit, he's whining with me and it makes this giant hole right here. And here goes Riddell. When you watch this back on film and you see your whole offensive line, everyone gets a plus on this play. Everyone has a great block. Um, what, is it, what does it do for your unit? Uh, it kinda, it's like that, I guess, unsaid competition. And uh, just like every time after a game and we see everybody doing good or like uh, everybody got a good grade, we just kind of forget about that, but like see who has the highest and then be like, that's the standard. So from there on, we just kind of try to one-up each other from there and try to uh, be better the next game. I don't have to throw a running back under the bus here, but there's an unblocked guy he's running to. Yeah. He could have gone up the seam, uh, up, the, up the seam, up the hash. What are you, what are you saying in the film room to each other? Or, or do you go talk to, to, to Verdell after this and say, hey man, up the seam is where to go. Like, what's your response when you see a play like this? Look, it's well blocked, right? There's a huge opening of the middle of the field and he runs right into the unblocked corner. Uh, no, I don't say none to him. At the end of the day, everybody is responsible for their own craft and their own thing. So, and also, I trust CJ 100%. So I just, at the end of the day, I'm just there for support. But he knows what he has to fix on. So I'm just there to, yeah, again, for that support.